going on guys? F Hall here and today welcome back to another episode. Wait, sit down boy! Sit down! Cats! Please, can you just stop it? God, I sound like TJ now. I sound like TJ! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Well, this is eight. But TJ is an absolute snob. I'm hurting your feelings right now, but it's definitely true. It's 100% true, okay? I'm sorry, TJ. Get the heck out. Take that into your skull. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Stop. Go back, you idiot. Robbie. Robbie. Go back. Go back. I just thought I'd make a video just telling you about how evil Bloodstorm and Robin are. Um, unsubscribe from Bloodstorm 06 because Bloodstorm, you're going to pay. You are going to pay for this. Hello, this is Bloodstorm and welcome to a video that I don't really want to be making but I feel like at this point it's best that this video is going to have to be made. So, uh, before I start, basically there is a few things that I have to say before I start. So, firstly, I don't want anyone going over to this person's channel and sending a bunch of hate. I won't be referencing their channel at all. I'll be saying their name, but I won't be saying their channel name, even though it might be a bit obvious. But I won't be mentioning their channel name because I do not want them gaining anything from this. And um, there is a few parts which are a bit serious, which has um, been said by this person. And... Um, just want to warn you that, that I'm going to put a list of things on the screen in case you don't want to hear those things. But these are the things I'm going to be talking about um, in this video. So, basically, there is this person called Ev. I won't be saying his second name because that's his channel name. And basically, he is um, not what you think. This is what he said about me as well in his exposed video. I'm not what I think. Basically, he had exposed me. There is... Well, he has deleted it because... Um, I guess he just doesn't like criticism. Uh, he's deleted it because there was a bunch of people that were taking my side, thankfully. And they were basically saying how Ev just can't really yeah he can't what's the word let me just think he can't take criticism and he just needs stuff for attention it's like some of the things i saw people say but the thing is if you're going to have an exposed video on someone you have to actually plan it this is what i've done i've actually got the plan i've waited long enough uh, i was originally planning to do this around February this year, 2023, but uh, I decided I don't feel like doing it at that time, but I feel like now is probably the best time since loads of stuff has happened back then. So the story of how this all started was I got a message from Ev on Xbox and he said that he had his own world and he would like me to join and he'd like to see my world at some point. So, I thought, oh, that's alright, I might join his world. So, a couple days later, I asked him if I could be in one of his videos, and he said yes. So, everything was normal um, when I was, like, in his world. But something that I noticed, and um, soon after, one of my helpers, EJ, noticed as well, is that... Ev isn't really that nice. He screams at his helpers. And, um... So he screams at his helpers. He shouts at the top of his voice whenever his dog barks. Oh, hang on, this is free. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! It's just a little bit. Even if it's not much, a little bit. And his dog barks. Uh, and then he just decides to yell all over the place at the dog he takes ideas from people and he doesn't claim them as his 
Now, everyone obviously knows that Stampy is the famous. He's the one that started all of the the lovely worlds and like all of the Let's Play series on Minecraft. He started all of that. And everyone obviously gives credit to Stampy. So, the thing is, Ev doesn't always take, the, well, give credit. He usually claims things as his own. And, yep, soon after me and EJ found out what Ev was kind of like, we, actually no, this wasn't the time EJ was in the world. This is where the, I had Copycat in the world. And we were going to record a Fantastic World video. Uh, Ev was going to be playing one of the characters. Uh, so was Copycat. Um, and during the episode, right before it started, I noticed that my house was burning down. And, well, at the time, I didn't know what had happened. Like, I thought it was lightning or something, but lightning wasn't on. Like, it wasn't raining. So, I knew it was either Copycat or Ev. Now, I know it wasn't Copycat. Because when I went AFK, Copycat was on my balcony and F was like nowhere on the screen. Copycat was not moving at all. He was in the exact same position as I was when I came back. So I'm pretty sure Copycat was AFK at that time. But the one person that was moving around obviously was F. And, uh,. Turns out it was Ev who burnt down my house. And luckily it was a copy of the world. So I could just go back. But luckily it was a copy of the world. So I could easily just go back onto the other copy. But I soon then, about a week after, I asked Ev. Was it a week? I don't know. But not long after that incident happened. I asked Ev and just confronted him about what happened. And he decides to blame his sister. Apparently, apparently it was his sister that had burnt the house down. Now, obviously at the time, I probably would have believed it. But then, there was, I don't know what led up to it. But there was a point where Ev was like, yeah, I burnt the house down. It was all me. I did it. And he did this weird evil laugh at the end. Um, this was all in like a group call. So I haven't got video proof of this, sadly. But. It was in a group call. I don't know who else was in it. I think it was Foxy who was in the group. I think. I'm not sure. But there was a, a group call happening. Me, Ev, and one other person were in it. And um, actually, it might be. Might be. I, I don't know. It might be EJ. I, I'm not sure. I can't remember. But yeah. Oh, am I getting followed? The story still goes on from there. So. Obviously, I feel like Ev might have changed from that point, but um, basically, there was like more drama starting. Yeah, there was more drama. The drama kept on going backwards and forwards. It kept on starting and stopping. Ev kept on inviting me to his world, which I have no clue why. But um, yeah, he kept on inviting me to his world for... Um, some strange reason. Oh, oh, I missed them. Yeah, I don't know why he would keep inviting me to the world. But, yep. Yeah. And um, it still goes on from there. Actually, no. Is it? No. But yeah, basically, the drama still continues. And it's just annoying how it just keeps on getting brought up, even though it's irrelevant. So, recently, I did ask a few people... Um, their experiences oh i just got shot by someone their experience with, with ev and uh i won't be do talking about that now i'll wait i'll probably do a part two of like the interviews of what i've asked people people haven't had a good experience with ev is what i found out people are but people are not really having a good experience with ev and some people in the, the interview that I did with them, well, it wasn't really like a word talking interview. It was like asking them, messaging them what it was like. Uh, so some people did want to be unnamed. But uh, some people are going to, I am going to keep unnamed because 
it's pretty clear that Ev knows that that person doesn't like them. And um, yeah, so that those people I will be keeping unnamed. But yeah, those people will be kept unnamed, but some people are going to be kept named. No, some people are going to be named. Some people aren't going to be named is what I'm trying to say. So basically... This drama has been going on for about a year. It happened sometime last year, and I've still got the screenshots of the, the house burning down, which I will put up a couple times on the screen. But I want to address uh, a few things that I think is wrong with Ev. So he is quite aggressive towards his helpers. There is a help, one of his helpers called TJ. He full on screams so basically what i know is from ev is that he what in one of his episodes he was like going on and on about random stuff and then he started bringing up tj for no reason he called tj a snob in that episode and um he was like i'm sorry tj and like that sort of way like a childish voice after he called tj a snob he was like Saying, I'm not trying to bully you, but it's true, you are. It was like something along those lines. And then, recently, so as of recording, last night on the... What's the date now? The 19th of November. He wanted to, like, talk on that day. So we went on to one of the worlds. Or oh, my world. Uh, it was a copy, luckily. It was like an old copy of my world, so... Um, in case anything happened, then yeah. And he decided to blow up my world. And luckily, I caught all of this on stream. So, everything that will be on the screen now, I'll put a little clip on screen of what has happened. So yeah, basically in that little stream that I did, I caught Ev blowing up my world. And um, we knew at some point he was because he was like, oh, I want to go in your world. And we was like, okay, we'll go in your world. He was going to blow up the world. And we knew that. But we wanted to catch it on camera to prove that Ev was actually doing all of this. And um, there was some very disturbing things that he did so he i have a helper called gaps who isn't of age he is under the age of 16 he's like 11 12 13 ish sorry gaps if you're seeing this but i forgot your age he's in that um, the age range not range range um but the the things gaps was hearing from Ev was a bit disturbing and this is the part where it's going to be a bit well this is the things I don't really like talking about but this is the part where it gets a bit disturbing so in the, the call Gaps was in it as well Gaps doesn't use his voice when there's other people in the call but Ev was saying and this is um what was said so this is on a sign in this world so the first sign was well this isn't about gaps the first sign, but the first sign was bloodstorm's shag hut and um at the time it was funny because i had no clue what on earth was happening like why was he building that little hut but after that is when it got a bit disturbing ev had wrote a sign and i have proof that it was Ev at the time because both me and Gaps were um, on custom so the only thing we could do is use doors and switches and um, Ev is the only one who can place signs so he placed another sign 
And this is a bit disturbing, so yeah, this is it. So this other sign I've put um, is I want to <laughs> gaps because he's young. And you could see the word on there, um, but Ev was, that was disgusting at that time. Like, obviously, Gaps is not of age. And Gaps, he's like, what, 11, 12? He's in, he's like, I don't know, he's, he's a young uh, person. And Ev is 17. So, this isn't looking good for Ev because he's saying that stuff to Gaps. And it's just not nice. And there was a time where me, Gaps and Ev were on call. And this was like last night as well. Ev wanted to... So... Do I say... I don't want to say... I don't want to say this stuff on my channel, but... Ev wanted to do something to Gaps. He said that on a call. And... Yeah, we've got... Who else was on... I don't think it was. I think TJ was on the call as well. So it's me, Gaps... Ev and TJ. TJ is one of Ev's helpers. TJ, um, he, yeah, he's one of Ev's helpers, the old helpers. He's one of the, the people that um, got shouted at by Ev in the, that clip. So Ev made two exposed videos in that day. And um, he decided to call us a bunch of uh, pussies for some reason, even though he's the one that's been deleting... Uh, the exposed videos and like anything about exposing me because people are leaving hate stuff and the point of an exposed video if you're going to expose someone like I said earlier you need to have proof you need to like not record yourself blowing up the victim's world if you're going to expose them like why would you why would you blow up their world if you're trying to expose that person like it's not looking good on your side ever right now especially with all the screenshots of you saying you want to do horrible things to Gaps because he's of a young age. So, I'll move, I'll try to move away from that dark things. Uh, but something I do want to mention as well. This is bringing his uh, dog into this. So, he has a dog. And every time his dog barks. I don't think I've mentioned Have I? I probably have, but just in case I haven't. He, I'll, I'll explain the dog thing in more detail. But... He shouts at his dog. He bangs on his desk like like that every time his dog barks, or most of the time whenever his dog barks. His eyes. And um, yeah, it doesn't. From what our perspectives, me and a couple other people's views, it doesn't look like he's being very nice to his dog, and that's what worries me because. Like, I've got a dog myself. <laughs> he's... Oh, he's roaming around. Hello, dog. But he's roaming around. Um, but Ev... I, I feel bad for his dog because... The dog doesn't need to be screamed at. Like, I get it's a dog. And they bark. And it does get annoying. But you don't need to scream and shout at the top of your lungs at the dog. Like, there's no need to scream at the dog just because it's barking. Like... A dog's gonna bark. A dog's gotta do what a dog's gotta do. It needs to bark. It needs attention. You don't need to keep screaming at it. And, oh, I'm the murderer, so you know what. Oh, I missed. But it's a dog. It needs to bark. Dogs bark. You can't tell your dogs to stop barking. Well, I mean, you can, but um, you can't just force it to stop barking. But, I mean, I don't think he treats it badly, but yelling at the dog like that is a bit too far like you can't just shout at the dog because it's barking and you can't scream at the top of your lungs because it's barking like the dog like i said the dog's a dog dog's got to bark just let the dog bark like it doesn't matter even if it's in the background just say i apologize for my dog my dog's just a bit whingy today and um yeah hopefully he'll stop barking eventually that's all you got to say like People aren't really going to hear. You could barely notice the dog barking in the background. So, yeah, I don't see a point of shouting at the dog to shush when you can barely hear it in the background. So, that's what I've got to say about the dog. So, I don't want this to be a long exposed video. I want to do different parts to it. So, it's like not all packed into one video. So, what else is there? There's like 
his ex his past exposed videos. So I'm going to explain his exposed videos a bit more clearly. So the reason why, and this is what many people think, people think that Ev does these exposed videos just to gain attention. But the thing is, he says I use people as well. So I'm going to bring this part into it. He says I use people. I don't use people. I ask people if they want to be in my Fantastic World videos. And even if they can't, like, I don't force people to join their world. Like, he forces people to join. Or, like, he, like, begs and, like, he starts whinging, like, oh, I've got no one to join. But the thing is, he records his videos, like, twice a day. I, I don't think he's done one yesterday, but he does his videos, like, twice a day. And he expects people to be on at that time even though he doesn't give them any notice like he he wants people on his world obviously and i can see why but the thing is he just needs to slow down with his uploads like if i was him i would probably just do like two a week depending on what you're doing if you're doing like what let's plays definitely at least once or twice a week is what i'd say because one you're gonna get burnt out and uh, two, you're not always going to get people on for your episode. So it gives you time to prepare for the episode. And he he basically just wants people on at the time. And there was a time where he wanted people on for his own season two. But people couldn't because it was half term for Ev. And it was half term. No, and everyone else was at school. And he thinks that everyone should have the same half term. And it's unbelievable is what he said on call to me. And, but yeah, he, he tries his best to get people in. I, I understand if, like, you desperately need someone on, but what I would have done for Ev is just upload a couple of weeks ahead, like I do. Like, I'm already done with my Christmas special. Like, I've done everything up until next, um, <laughs> next year. So, yeah, I can basically get helpers in my videos, but what I do, if it's for something small... I don't get people on because I don't like wasting their time. Whereas Ev needs someone in his world. He like he wants someone to be in the world. And yeah. And the part where he says I use people. I don't use people. Like I've got characters. If I want to use people. I would get them to be like their actual selves. But EJ and Callum. I don't use them. Like, they're not in the episodes all the time. They help out behind the scenes. They play a couple other characters. But I don't use them to get the views. Like, I use them because I ask them for help. And even if I don't... Even if they're not available, I'm like, okay. And I don't, like, whinge like Ev does. And I'm not like, oh, but I need people in the world. No, I don't whinge like that. And, um... Yeah. And uh, something I also want to quickly mention is well he does have autism is what he has been saying and he takes that to the next level he uses his autism as an excuse for his behavior and i know a couple people i won't mention them uh just in case they don't want it like mentioned but i know two three i know at least four or five people who have autism and they do not act in the same way ev does so, there was a time where uh, someone, I won't mention who obviously for reasons, but someone uh, messaged Ev's mum to see what was actually wrong at, uh, with Ev at the time because they were a bit concerned with Ev. And um, Ev's mum uh, said, oh, it's just the autism. Or it was, it was something along those lines, like, it's his autism. But, uh, yeah, surely, I, I don't... <laughs> I don't know if I've got it or not, but um, from what I've seen, like, he goes to the extreme where he blames his autism for his behaviour. And I know people with autism don't behave like that. So the fact that he's meant bringing his autism into this is a bit strange because <laughs> you don't always behave like that when you've got it. So I don't know why he's bringing it into it. He's bringing a disability that people have into this when it's not even relevant because you don't behave like that you don't behave how you do for example trying to do something to poor gaps who is the age of like 
around 13. Like, and you're 17. Like, that doesn't really look good on your side. And autism wouldn't do that. Like, if you blame your autism on that, Ev, then I'm afraid you're wrong. Shall I, shall I end this first part here? There's so much I can go on about, but I might bring this uh, some extra stuff up in the next part. But this is the end of part one of Exposing Ev. Part two will be out soon. This is part one of Exposing Ev, which is basically the story and what he's really like. So yeah, um, this is going to be the end of the episode. Um, I don't know why I've joined Foxy's Realm. I'll just have a little roam around. Oh, Stampy's rating mini games. Oh, yeah, I remember this. But that's going to be the end of this video. It's not the type of video or topics that I would like to talk about, but I feel like it had to be addressed. So in the next one, like I said, it's going to be interviews. There's going to be more proof of what Ev is really like. Yep, that's going to be the end of this episode. Um, yeah, I'd like to say uh, thank you all for um, yeah listening through this. Um, but like I said as well, do not go sending hate overs to his channel. Like, I don't want to look like a bad guy. So, yeah, if I was all of you guys, I wouldn't go send hate because I don't want to be the one that's like, oh, you need to go send hate because F is the one that is like, go report Bloodstorm. He's a nasty person. But, yep. I don't want to be the one that's like, go send hate over to this other person because they're nasty. I just want to mention what's been happening but yeah part two will be out soon thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in the next one Boris, i'll be up